we now want to use the second fundamental theorem of calculus. To do this, if f is continuous on an open variable CD that contains x equal to a, then it's true if we take the derivative with respect to x of the integral of f of t from a, which is a constant, to x. Then the answer is f of x. We simply substitute x in for our t. This is saying that derivatives and integrals are opposites. One special case is when u is a function of x, where u is the upper limit. There, not only do we have to take f of x, but we also have to apply the chain rule and take du with respect to x. So let's look at an example here. If capital F of x is given by this integral, and we're interested in the derivative of this, then all we have to do is replace t with x. Our answer will be x squared over x squared plus 1. And we're done. Notice here that the upper limit is just x, so we don't have to worry about the chain rule. On the other hand, let's look at this situation. We have capital F of x is equal to the integral from 2 to x squared, 1 over t cubed dt. In this case, you will notice that the upper limit is not just x, so we're going to have to worry with the du. So, we have 1 over t cubed. Now all we have to do is replace the t with our upper expression, but that would be x squared. And then we have to cube that. And now we have to take the derivative of x squared, which is 2x. So we wind up with 2x divided by x to the sixth. So our final answer here would be 2 over x to the fifth.